I'm Adele Bravo and I teach first grade at Cole Elementary School in Boulder Valley School District. My name is Mallory Bravo and I work at uh, Hanson Elementary at Ms. 14 Commerce City. The overall goal of the Pin Pop Project is to teach kids, our kids, that it doesn't matter what we look like, what we sound like, that they can work together. And we talk about a lot about when they're older and have their jobs, they may work with someone who doesn't look like them or sound like them. So we wanted to do a project-based activity today where they're actually going to have to work together. Well, we've done pen pals every year, and this year it, it, there's just a whole different level. It does feel more exciting. We've done a lot more of connecting and sharing, and um, they've just gotten, they've connected on a very personal level as opposed to, you know, just sharing what I did for the school day. It's more of this is my family, this is who I am, and I really want to know who you are. We've never been able to have the kids meet together, so we just needed some funding to do that. I actually applied for the NEA grant twice. First time didn't get it, so I thought we'll try again, um, and this time we did get it. It's provided iPads, so we've been able to make movies, we've Skyped, and then it paid for um, the field trips to come to each other's school. How exciting is it to get these kids in your class today? It, we have been waiting for it for so long. It, we are so excited. Oh, this is... So exciting. Um, the kids, I mean this just means the world to the kids. Just to get out, um, be somewhere different. A lot of our students, you know, grow up in the community, stay in the community, and just to visit a different community, a different school, it just means the world to them. Emmanuel, what's different than your classroom and our classroom is that we don't have the sad one and the happy one. Oh, the sad face and the happy face? Please do it with tallies. You just use tally. Uh, Maria. The most obvious difference is uh, our school is very diverse. Um, in my class, I have 17 native Spanish speakers and five native English speakers. So the language really does play a role. The culture really does play a role in our classroom and in our school. Even though they live, you know, relatively in each other's backyard, they're worlds apart. So they are. Um, about 90, approximately 90% free and reduced lunch, and I think close to 80% English language learners. We are, I think, maybe 20% free and reduced lunch, and you know, very, very small English language learner school. So they're very different, very diverse. Aside from that, they're all kids. They have the same, you know, problems. They learn the same things. Um, every kid learns in different ways. We both experience that in both schools. Can someone raise their hand and tell me the two countries they're studying? Super chat. Could you speak a little bit louder, please? Japan, okay, and Jacob. Um, Mexico. Mexico, Japan and Mexico. Put your finger on your nose if you already know something about Mexico. I think it's really important that they have these relationships to know that um, it doesn't matter how different we are, it doesn't matter how much alike we are. Um, you build relationships with anyone, anytime, anywhere, you can still have that communication, that um, find something in common that's the same. That it doesn't matter what we look like, the language we speak, uh, the color of our skin, our clothes that we can work together with, you know, the world. And we've kind of had this uh, mantra our whole school year is that the world is our family. So this just was an extension of our thinking about that. This looks like the great mother-daughter relationship. <laughs> how, how, how cool is this to do something with your mom in a professional oh, setting? You know, I just, she is such a role model to me. Um, teacher of the year. I just look up to her so much. So this is just the ultimate collaboration. It's really exciting for me. I am so proud of her. This is She's a third year teacher and we started this her very first year of teaching. Um, and she's been at Hanson the whole time and we said, hey, let's bring these you know diverse kids together. And it is so much fun. Um, she's an amazing teacher. I have learned so much from her while, while doing this project. So she's a third year teacher and how long have you been teaching? I have been teaching 21 years. Does she come to you for advice? I go to her. I'll get out of here. She has the latest. She's she's a whiz with technology, so I'm just learning. She told me she learned. You learn nothing from her that she learned from you. No, 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 no. It's quite the opposite, I assure you. We share a lot together. 
Oh, we share a lot. In fact, when we're together, people will say, stop talking about school. <laughs> this is just so great. We just want to say how, how much we appreciate um, you guys coming out and um, Cole opening their school for us. We're just really excited.